just enter it from there. It's a security guard over there. And on the top of this tower, it's a guard with machine guns. So they actually search everyone. They did not search us because we are foreigners. But when you come here, you come through these metal detectors and you're actually entering this, this uh, park. Yeah, there is a, a train to go around in the park. And this column, this beautiful column, what is this, Enif? Uh, Minare, Pakistan. Minare, Pakistan. Okay, yeah. so this is important monument for yeah. here. All right. Okay, let's go in. So we're going to take this train. And it will show us around the park. Because it is big. It's better to take a train. Otherwise, we have to walk a lot. And with all this gear on this high temperature, it's not so, not so easy. Another day, another adventure. Huh? Yes. Salam Alaikum. Drink, drink, my friend. Drink, drink. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> no worries. Nice and easy with the train. Oh, and wind. Super. This is the famous column. Actually, it's a very beautiful park here. We don't have enough time to explore everything because now it's uh, 5.30. It will be dark at 7 o'clock, so we'll need to make it fast, as fast as possible. So this is the wall. The actual old city. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm the only tourist here. Huh? <laughs> if I see another, I will stop to ask him. The main entrance. So after the a long riding to come to the city, the old city of Lahore, finally we are here. It's a very beautiful, of course, very crowdy. So we found uh, one local guide, gentleman. Okay. Second to attach this because my hands are very wet. Okay. Okay, so what's your name? My name is Mohammed Suhail. Okay. I'm a local guide in Lahore. Okay. So I'm going to give you awareness about these uh, Mughal monuments. All right. If All right. we see down there, that is a beautiful uh, castle uh, that was constructed in 1566 by the third Mughal Emperor Akbar. Okay. In the middle, that was a court where the emperor used to hold the court. He brought most of the white marble from Afghanistan and this garden is called Baradari, famous for the poetry. And that is the access for the old city in Lahore. And uh, that is a tomb of Allah Iqbal, he's our national poet. His name is Allah Iqbal, he's buried in there. So let us walk, let's walk inside right. the mosque. Let's walk inside. Okay. Right. okay. So, okay. we need to take off shoes here. All right. So we need to remove our shoes here. It will be not so easy. So this is the beautiful mosque, Badshahi Mosque. Uh, this is the largest mosque in Lahore. And uh, that was built in 1673 by the sixth Mughal Emperor Aurangzeb Alamgir. And uh, the sixth Mughal Emperor Aurangzeb, he brought most of this pink stone from Jaipur, from India, from Rajasthan. And what is this big square? Uh, this this is entirely a mosque. Okay, the entire mosque. Yeah, we are now inside the mosque, mm -hmm. and uh, as we know, the pink stone is from Jaipur, and the white marble is from Afghanistan. Mm. Okay, right. so in old days, the imam used to use echo acoustic to send the voice far towards the people, and uh, that echo is still working inside. If we see the towers. These towers are not 100% perpendicular. They are a little bit leaning outside. If there is an earthquake, 
the towers would not fall inside, but they would fall outside. But the, because the towers are leading outside, All right. same like Taj Mahal. All right. Okay. Nice. So if if we see the rooms around, these rooms used to be a madrasa, a school, yes, cool, yeah. where they used to provide the holy education to the children, and. Uh, uh, we can find beautiful geometrical work inside the mosque because mostly the images of human beings and animals are forbidden in Islamic architecture. So the Mughals were excellent in geometrical work. And uh, outside we see the geometrical work but inside we are going to see the beautiful fresco. Fresco is an art came from Central Asia in India. Uh, on a wet wall, we, the artisan make a painting, then that wet wall absorbs the colors. That becomes fresco. So we are going to see excellent fresco inside. If you see the calligraphy up there, so that is the calligraphy from our holy book, Quran. So the Mughals were also excellent in calligraphy. So this mosque is 80% restored restoration very little is very little is original here but we still are going to see uh, the original work as well this marble is from the north of Pakistan in summer it is cool outside is hot but inside is cool if you see the ceiling up there so there we can see the beautiful ceiling and a beautiful geometrical work uh, this is entirely a place for men men pray here these carpets are from Iran from Persia and oh, yeah. me like a foreigner I'm allowed to go in there. of course you are allowed yeah. no problem no problem so in old days for electricity they were using the chandeliers so the chandeliers are still there and uh, in old days in chandeliers, they were using the coconut oil to burn. And uh, the Mughals were excellent in symmetrical work. So let me show you excellent symmetrical work. If we need to stand in a certain point, uh, just here, and just look down there, how symmetrically yeah, all the, the windows and arches all the doors. are. Looks like a reflection in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, during the prayer time, this certain place is for the ladies, for the women. Right. Women can use this part when there's a bigger prayer like Friday, Ramazan. Right. So then we have a very big prayers. So women use this certain part for the prayers. Right. So let's wa walk down there and see a great symmetrical work again and a good view of outside. So the Mughals, they ruled in India from 1524 till 1764. From 1764 till 1849, Punjab was ruled by the Sikh people. Okay. And from 1849 till 1947, the whole India was ruled by the British. Yeah. In 1927, the British created a department, archaeological department. Right. So the credit of restoration goes to British. They made archaeological department in 1927. So this mosque is almost restored, very little is original here. Okay. And we need to go down there and see a great symmetrical work in there. So look at now this. Look. This again this symmetrical work. Yeah, right? that used to be a madrasa. Right, a see? school for the children. When you look from on one side, you see up to the end. Yes. So that is a madrasa where they used to provide the holy education to the children. And uh, we need to stand here. I just would like to show you a great view there. Okay. That is our Freedom Tower. We call it Minare Pakistan. Mr. Jina was here in 1940 and he was asking a separate country from the British. Okay. And in 1947 he was successful. Okay. Right. So this mosque also has echo, acoustic. You know echo? Yeah, yeah. I so I need you to stand in that corner. Right. Face towards the corner. Face towards the corner. You come with me there. Okay, now you can talk to him something and get the answer that will be echo. Go closer and say something to him. Hey, Nay. Cheers. How are you? I can see it. Give me the mic. Give me the mic. Okay, okay. 
Ani. This is unbelievable architecture. Really, I can hear very well. Yes, yes. So it's it's really acoustic. Yeah, yeah. Da, da, da. Ako rekal gospod. Here go. Eh, idet kardi ho jai. Aage aage thora sa. Motorcycle adventures. You feel echo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel the echo. I feel the echo. Yeah. All right. Good. Good. In old days, without electricity, without microphones, Imam, the priest, they used to send the voice through echo. And if you stand here, yeah. there, yeah. you see the two sides of the mosque yeah. and the domes. Yeah. So the middle dome is as much bigger as Taj Mahal. Because the middle dome is dual. You know dual? Yeah. One is underneath, one is on the top. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. You see there's a door. Yeah. So did you feel inside the ceiling it was not that high? But there you see the dooms are very much oh, high. Yeah, it's a two level. Yeah, 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 yeah. So there are two levels. One is underneath, one is on the top. That makes it more stronger. Okay. Okay. Ha, mm. That makes it more stronger. If you just see there, there's a beautiful view of Sikh temple. Probably the best view is there. That is the best view of uh, Sikh temple. So that is a Gurdwara of Maharaja Ranjit Singh. He was a Sikh ruler. He ruled in Punjab from 1799 till 1849. We need to go down there. And Maharaja, he used the original brickwork in 1849. So there's a certain part where we can see the original brickwork as well. If we see the brickwork over there, that is the original brickwork when we say 1849, so we can see the original brickwork from that time. And then the next is the temple of Maharaja Ranjit Singh. That is a cremation place of Maharaja. And down there, it used to be a river, River Ravi. Mm -hmm. The river used to provide a natural defense to the fort and the mosque and the city. Now the river is about three kilometers on that side. If you have a bit more time, then there's a beautiful monument over there, the tomb of Jahangir. The tomb of Jahangir is there, that is a beautiful monument. And in the old city, there's a mosque, Wazir Khan. Have you seen Wazir Khan mosque or not? No, no, yeah. Oh. Here is the ablution tank for ablution. As we know, the Muslims wash for five times in a day and they go for prayer. And how many people are visited here daily? Uh, the local people are visiting every day, like. Uh, a uh, few thousand people, but on special days, uh, more than 100,000 people. Have you seen many tourists like me? Uh, we see, we used to see very many tourists, but at the moment we are seeing a little less tourists, but we are expecting more in future. Yeah, this, this is what I, what I will try to do, to bring you more people now. Thank you, thank you, right? thank you. Right. So, thank you very much. You're it's welcome. Very, very informative. Thank you, thank you. So this is when the locals ask for selfie, all right? All right? All right. Peace, brother. Pakistan Zindabad, huh? Pakistan Zindabad. All right. A great time in, in the old part of the city. Excellent. We saw everything. We got even a, a tour guide, which was great. Now it's now it's time to go back to the hotel, chill a bit, relax, and tomorrow early morning we'll start the way to the north. Into, no, into the normal for them and crazy for me traffic. We have 
bread, rice with vegetables, another some kind of potatoes and mixed vegetables and salad. Good. Enjoy your meal. Huh? Yeah, thank you. Very good.